Back on the Extra Point Live from Mullet Arena, the Coyotes playing their final game in Arizona, a victory over the Edmonton Oilers, the end of an era. And Nick, you were down inside the dressing room after this one. Uh, th this is a team we've talked about, a talented team led by a star. Salt Lake City is getting a team that could be poised to do big things next year. Yeah, Clayton Keller, the multi-time All-Star. I was just asking you, best Coyote since Shane, Shane Doan, Doan maybe, yeah, yeah. Um, who spent his entire career with the Coyotes and was getting ready to finally play on a great team in a couple of years here. Yeah. Uh, he said today was a little bit different for him. Obviously, you know, I've played my whole career here. Um, you know, I've grown up here. I've been around so many, you know, great people who, you know, helped me succeed, helped their team succeed, you know, the trainers. Uh, it was just a special place, you know, in my heart. And, um, you know, it was a lot, of, a lot of emotions for sure, you know, thinking, you know, just about the future. And, um, you know, it's the last one, at least for a little bit in Arizona. So it's, uh, yeah, we wanted to have a good effort and, um, you know, show that to the fans. Kels yeah. is real appreciative of the fans and yeah. all the signs and the support they got throughout the night. Yeah, and I mean, he, he's been a, an all-star, a perennial all-star now. And you think that he grew up here and, and what could be with his career. And if it, he, he could end up with his number in the rafters here one day, like so many great Coyotes. There's been some great teams. There's been some great players. There's been some great moments. There's also been some really frustrating moments, many of them throughout the franchise history as we look back at some of the most memorable moments for the Arizona Coyotes here in the Valley of the Sun. After the 1996 NHL season, the Jets took off from Winnipeg, heading south before landing in the desert. I can't wait to see hockey in Phoenix. I have an 11-year-old son over there that's, that's dying to go to every game, so it's going to be great. Arizona sports history was authored tonight on the ice of Hartford Civic Center as the Coyotes open their initial season as Phoenix's National Hockey League representative. The Coyotes making playoff appearances in each of their first four seasons here in Arizona. The inaugural season of the Phoenix Coyotes ends in Game 7 of the playoffs. And in the spring of 1999, a playoff legend was born. Jeremy Roenick skated with the team this morning for the first time since Dallas's Darian Hatcher rearranged JR's jaw three weeks ago. Roenick's availability for tonight will be a game-time decision. Of course, Roenick returned with an unforgettable look. And so we'll tap JR in the lineup. Years later, Roenick would return to the Coyotes one more time to be inducted into the Ring of Honor. Anybody want to question whether this, this, this place is going to have a team and going to keep a team? Well, we'll show them. And as the new millennium arrived, the Coyotes struggled to find postseason success with five straight first round exits. And the team moved from Phoenix to Glendale, placing their hope in a pair of living legends. Tampa Bay proved that living in Florida didn't seem to hurt their hockey team. So I think in a lot of ways it, it can be used as a crutch or an excuse. Wayne Gretzky, the great one, a minority owner at the time, taking over as head coach in 2005, with Brett Hull on the roster wearing the retired number nine that his father wore for the Winnipeg Jets. But Hull's career in the desert lasted only five games before hanging up his skates. It was so much fun day after day coming to the rink and whew, it's hard. I didn't think it would be this hard. And the great one's prowess on the ice didn't translate to the dressing room. The Coyotes became a franchise wandering in the desert, bankrupt, taken over by the NHL. With a long list of potential owners, the Coyotes somehow found their way. Ansel, Whitney, and Verbata. Here's a chance. They score! Ray Whitney is the hero. Phoenix gets it done once again in overtime. Reaching the Western Conference Final for the first time in 2012. Off the faceoff, cleared out by Hansel. The Phoenix Coyotes for the first time in their history go to the Conference Final. Nobody knew at the time, but that would be the Coyotes' peak here in Arizona reaching the playoffs only once since then. A first round exit in the 2020 bubble, being outscored 22 to eight in five games. This one leaves a little bit of a bitter taste. We were overmatched. And the Coyotes haven't sniffed the playoffs since, but the fans who have been there since day one always showed up for the team, especially those who return the love. I love to play and I sure appreciate the fans. I've been treated 
so far above what anybody could ever dream of being treated by our fans. Jane Doan spent all 21 years of his NHL career with the team. He became the face of the franchise and a pillar in the community, raising his family right here in the Valley. A sharp angle, and they score! Josh Stone's got it! First in the NHL! In his storybook debut, Shane's son Josh, who grew up as a Coyotes fan himself, getting the chance to start his NHL career in his hometown. Look at Josh Stone right there in front. Michelli lets it rip, and there's the stick of Josh Doan. The first Coyote in team history to score multiple goals in his NHL debut in front of the same fans he grew up sitting next to. I sat in the same seat for 16 years, 15 years, and, and every night, and and would cry if I missed a game until I was too old to do that. So uh, <laughs> No, 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 he still does. Yeah. Still, oh, yeah. Yeah, I understand. So, so, I mean, it, it's the Coyotes have been my team since I was little, regardless of, of whether or not he was there. Boy, that was uh, really well done. Yeah. Really nice to see. I've lived here four and a half years. It has been challenge after challenge for this franchise, this organization. Nice to see some of the better moments. Yeah, let's go back downstairs. Josh Doan is addressing the media live. Amongst the group, obviously, that there's there's no hate towards towards Salt Lake City because they're they're welcoming us with with open arms, and and we don't want there to be hate across the board from from fans here towards them because. The, the people there had, had nothing really to do with it. They, they've been welcoming and, and supportive of, of us too. So I think there's, there's no real way to really go about it. Obviously, take it day by day and, and see what's going to happen. Josh, you talked about the impact this team had on you growing up. What impact can this team have on a community that's never had NHL before? Yeah, I, I think you, you've seen the growth of the game in Arizona with, with the Coyotes coming here and with, with Austin Matthews and, and Matthew Nyes and, and all the kids that are growing up in the game now. and, and how competitive it's become and how well Arizona's done. They they just won another Nationals tournament in, in the, I think it was U14 level. So it's it, it's showing the growth of the game. And I think putting an NHL team in any city is going to really grow the game. And and if if the the fans like like hockey and they like like fun high high energy games, and they're going to love it and they'll enjoy it. And, and we got a group group here that's 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 really good and exciting to watch. So it's it'll it'll be exciting for the city there. Yeah, not shocking to see a Doan take the high road right there. The Doans will share more than just their time with the Coyotes. Shane Doan played his first NHL season with the Winnipeg Jets and relocated with his team to Arizona. Josh Doan now playing uh, after making his NHL debut with the same franchise will also locate with uh, the team after just his first season. This is exactly what happened with me. It was sad. It was hard to leave Winnipeg. Um, we came here, started a whole new life, never dreamed of being in Arizona, and ended up in Arizona kind of writing a story and being part of a story here that was incredible and great and loved it. And so uh, go do that and go to you know Salt Lake City if that's where it's at and that's what happens and go there and enjoy it.